Consider the following formula. Which of the following statements is true for this formula, assuming that m and n are not zero? To solve this question, we need both of our variables in terms of each other, which was already done. We have m is equal to n, but we just need to simplify this piece right here because dividing with fractions can be a bit nasty and we don't want to be substituting that into each of these equations. That'll slow us down. So n divided by 1 half, remember that dividing with fractions is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal or by the flip of that fraction. So if we flip the numerator and denominator, we would get 2 over 1 or n times 2, which is 2n. So we can rewrite our equation to say m is equal to 2n. And now we can substitute that 2n in for every m in each of our answer choices, and that'll help us figure out what is a true statement. Starting with answer choice A, we have m, or 2n, times n is greater than n squared. If we simplify this, n times n will give us n squared. We have 2n squared is greater than n squared. This will always be a true statement because since this n is squared, that means no matter what we plug in, whether it's a negative number or a positive number, the result is always going to be a positive number because a negative times a negative will yield a positive. So if this is always positive and it's always double of this positive number over here, that means it's always going to be bigger. And that makes answer choice A our correct answer. At that point, you can mark A and move on with the rest of the test, but for the sake of the video, I'll show you exactly why B, C, and D are incorrect. For answer choice B, we have n plus 2 is greater than m, which is 2n. Then if we were to subtract n from both sides, these would cancel, leaving us with 2 is greater than n. We can't know for sure if this is true or not because we don't have the value of n. So answer choice B is incorrect. We cannot prove it true or false. For answer choice C, we have 2n is greater than m, which is equal to 2n. These are equivalent, not greater than or less than. So that makes answer choice C also incorrect. And finally, for answer choice D, we have m, which is equal to 2n, plus 1 half is greater than n. Then if we were to subtract 2n from both sides, these 2n's would cancel, giving us 1 half is greater than negative n. 1 half could be greater than a negative number, so it may be tempting to mark this as your correct answer, but remember that this negative is unrelated to n. We could still plug in a negative number. We could plug in a negative 2, and then that would be negative negative 2, a negative times a negative would give us a positive, and that would make the statement incorrect. One half is not greater than a positive 2, so we don't know for sure if this can be correct. So that means answer choice D is incorrect, and answer choice A is the only 100% true statement, making that our correct answer.